Hey, what's up, Cado? Welcome to our review of rain jackets for motorcycles. Let's take a look at the Icon PDX high visibility rain jacket. I have Ryan with me. Ryan. Ryan? Right. Oh, there he is. Sorry. High visibility indeed. Could you get anything brighter than this? This is the high vis yellow. This jacket also comes in orange and black. Let's talk about rain jackets for a second because there's two ways to do this. You can go with an out rain coat with armor and protection, or you can go with a shell. And that's what the icon guys uh, have done here with the PDX. Ryan's jacket underneath that he's wearing is a motorcycle jacket that has the padding and the armor. He's wearing the Icon Sanctuary and he's wearing it in a large. Just to give you some sizing info, to give you some perspective. So he's wearing a large Icon PDX rain jacket, which is designed to cover the large motorcycle jacket that he wears underneath. You've got a really nice rain guard here. Okay, across the light, across the Icon, I love this Icon uh, logo. You've got a really nice Velcro rain guard there you've got no water coming in here it's a double garage okay then we open up and you've got a waterproof zipper a waterproof ykk excuse me right waterproof ykk zipper again if i open this up look at the the depth here of the garage and the gutter here okay so you're going to get no water in through this and as you can see underneath there's ryan's icon sanctuary jacket here you've got a nice comfort liner that's going to just stop you from getting more sweaty and clammy. And if you can just spin around to the side for me a second, Ryan. There we've got, there's no, as I said, there's no armor, there's no padding. The armor and the padding is all in through his Icon Sanctuary jacket. What we do have, though, are these nice Velcro closures here on the wrist. It's a really nice tight fitting cuff. You can get your gloves up underneath there as well. And the water's just gonna sheet off and run away. And it's not gonna run up through your gauntlet gloves. And you've got this nice, this is perfect for your helmet head. When you get out off the bike and you're, you're raining and your hair's everywhere. Well, not my hair, obviously, because I don't actually have much hair, but Ryan's hair, which could be a little bit messy. You've got this nice hood that gets rid of your helmet head. You've got uh, two pockets on the outside as well, two nice big pockets. You've also got a little pocket on the inside there of the, uh, of the lapel for your cell phone, smartphone, or wallet. It is really, for me, it's my choice. It's the way that I like to go when it comes to rain gear. I prefer to wear just the shell, a very basic waterproof shell on top of my extra riding gear because then when the sun comes out and it warms up, I can layer off for most of my riding, which is done in the warmer and the seasonal months. Next up, we'll be taking a look at the Alpine Stars T-Jaws waterproof jacket. I'm gonna go right out on a limb up front and say that I don't like this idea. I'm not a great fan of having short, kind of sporty motorcycle jackets that are waterproof. I'm sorry, but in my opinion, you're just not gonna be really that dry if you're gonna go on a long ride. Far better for me, my personal preference, to have a shell. But the guys at Alpine Stars, they disagree and they've been doing a lot longer than me. So why should I complain anymore? So let's get right into it. Ryan's our top model today. He stands six foot three, 165 pounds and has a 36 inch chest. If you've seen some of our videos, you will know that already. He's wearing the Alpine Stars large. And as you can see with Alpine Stars, they tend to be a little bit on the snug side. So if you're a larger guy, Think about that when you're ordering ahead of time. You want to go maybe half size or full size larger. If it's a problem for you, don't worry. We ship and return for free and all the details are on our website. So let's have a look at some nuances. This is the black and white. This jacket also comes in black, white and red and also comes in black, white with red accents. It is a nice jacket. I say it's not my choice for a waterproof jacket, but it is a very nice jacket and it certainly does what it's supposed to do. It is a nice heavy duty waterproof Gore-Tex lining, uh, sorry, Gore-Tex exterior shell. And as you come to expect with, uh, with Alpine Stars, you've got lots of padding in the chest, lots of impact and armor protection right the way throughout the chest area. And you've got some nice stretch fabric on the internal sides of the arms as well, away from the abrasion and the impact zones. Nice ratchet down cuffs here, tight. And if you open this, this cuff, you've got lots of room there to get in a full gauntlet job, uh, glove. Sorry. So it really is a jacket that they put some thought in as far as going out in wet weather conditions are concerned. If you can turn to the side slightly from around, think about You see we've got some articulation here. We've got the uh, approved CE, approved armor on the uh, elbows and also on the shoulder pads, a little bit more of a turn. And you can see we've got the articulation here and here on the elbow to give you a nice comfortable ride, to give you some flexibility there in the riding position. On the back, we've got our CE approved foam pad, 
uh, armor. This is, uh, of course, upgradable. It's removable, upgradable, uh, and adjustable, as is all the armor in the jacket. It's a nice, I think it's a little bit short here for me, but again, if you've got some good waterproof pants on underneath, you are gonna stay nice and dry. Come down to the front for me, MP Ryan. Well, one thing that you're gonna get with a waterproof jacket is you're gonna get a little bit of a sweat or perspiration buildup because they tend to be a little bit of humidity. So what I really do like they've put here, is they put these little vents in here up at the collar side, and that's gonna help you when it gets a little bit hot and humid there, even in the rain, it's gonna vent some air in there, which is a really nice tap. We'll start to have a quick look at the inside here. I do like this. This is a nice Velcro tab hiding over the, the, uh, the guttering for the zipper there. So that should keep you nice and dry. The zipper is nice and easy to pull. And if we open up here, you can see this lining here is a nice, you see from the side on here, this grass, it definitely is a waterproof material. Okay, this does zip out for those warmer weather rides. And you've got a nice waterproof pocket as well on the side for your valuables. Thanks very much. Next, we're going to take a last look at our wet weather jackets with the Olympia Horizon rain jacket. And Ryan, we could definitely see you on the horizon wearing this because it is a little bit bright. And that's what it's all there for. It is a rain jacket. It is a shell rain jacket. It is designed to fit over the existing motorcycle jacket that you have with your armor and your protection and your abrasion zones intact. This is what this is designed to do. Let's get you into some sizing information. Ryan is six foot three, weighs 165 pounds and has a 36 inch chest. Beneath this rain jacket, he is wearing an Icon Contra in a medium. And this jacket is an M slash L. It's a bridge size, which means you can wear it with a medium or a large. So you've got your medium or your large motorcycle jacket for whatever brand underneath. It starts to rain. You pull out your Olympia Horizon and it's going to cover that right over. It's not going to be too tight. You're still going to be able to ride. And most important of all, you're going to stay dry. This is 100% ripstop nylon. It is totally waterproof. And uh, I don't think it's a breathable, so much a breathable as a, as a purely waterproof rain jacket. It's not going to be worth taking this on a three-week trip across the Rockies, uh, as I've mentioned before with other uh, rain gear. But it is good if you get caught in the rain on the way back or to work or on a weekend ride. This is going to keep you nice and dry through some quite heavy rain. A look at uh, the cuff here. We've got a nice Velcro attachment. Lots of room in here to fit a full gauntlet glove. And you've got some cinching on here on the forearm just to get a nice tight fit if you need. A little bit of reflective piping on the front. And of course, a lot of high vis reflective material on the shoulders. And you'll see when we go around to the back of the jacket. Uh, actually, let's turn around now and go to the side a little bit. You'll see there's plenty of room here. Below that is the jacket. Here's the armor on the elbow pad. Here's the armor on the shoulder pad. It's not restrictive. Ryan can ride comfortably. He's going to get lots of vision. He's not going to feel at all tight and restricted in this. If you move to the back, here we've got a nice, you can see the back here, the waist in, so you can pull this tight round. If you've got the pants to go with this, tucked up nice and high under the waistband, you're going to stay perfectly, perfectly dry. Again, you've got the reflective piping here and a nice, I kind of like this. It's like a wind, uh, a wind, um, proof design on the back there so the wind's going to shear right off and of course a nice rubberized soft collar on the top and around to the front again thank you very much we open up through the zip here you can see what i do one thing that is really good i guess on the collar is really nice is you've got this dual side ratchet here okay so instead of having to pull the collar from one side you can adjust it at the same time on both sides i think that's a very nice touch and then if we open this up you see here We've got a Velcro fastener. We've got a double garage for the zipper. So there's no water going to get in there at all. Nice, easy zip. And if we open it up, there's the motorcycle jacket underneath. There's your comfort shell and your outer lining. It's very, very, very concise and basic. It's there just to keep you dry when the rain comes to town. Thanks for watching our review of rain jackets. If you require any help making a purchase or just further information, please give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. My name's Simon, and we'll see you next time.